Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of How to Play Mind Test. Um, I recorded this episode and by the time I got to the end realized it was way too long and I didn't do a whole lot. So, I'm going back through and dubbing over the top and playing it back in super fast mode so you still get to see everything I did but not have to waste a half hour of your time. Um, in this episode we are moving from the uh, workshop here over to the uh, bottom of Gryffindor Tower because I just got tired of wandering that far every time it got dark to get back in bed and it was like alright let's just move over. So we went ahead and moved some doors over, um, started with the beds, moved all the beds over and this was a little tricky because we have to fit five beds in here. That's how many students there are on each uh, year of school. So we started moving chests over, just unloading as much as we possibly can. And you can see why this took a half hour, because we have so many chests that we have to move over. But um, we were able to get everything moved over pretty quick here. And really a half hour for how much stuff we had was not bad at all. So. Just kind of framing things in here so it looks a little bit better. So we can get a rough idea of what each dorm room is going to look like. Get some torches up so when it gets dark we can still see everything. And we head back out to grab more stuff. So you saw in that shot just a minute ago that uh, you may remember from a previous episode, we had to cut a corner out of the workshop in order to finish up the Quidditch pitch. So that was one of the big motivating factors, heading back over to moving us into Gryffindor Tower. So these are the community chests that we're moving here, and these ones I did pretty well at keeping everything in the right chest. Um, later, when I was moving my son's chests and things over, I kind of got them mixed up, because I couldn't remember whose bed was whose, and whose stuff was in what chest, and it was like, ugh. So, just kind of letting them have free reign on it now. Um, we've played a couple times since this episode was filmed. There we go, another chest there. Sort out, just in case any baddies show up. And we start... Filling all the stuff back in, getting all the plant stuff in the second community chest. We never did put that craft guide back up, did we? <laughs> I'll have to do that in the next episode. This is one of those necessary evils as you start building things and realizing, you know what, I need to move all this stuff over. And so you have to spend not a ton of time, but a reasonable amount of time grabbing everything. Something that I hope the devs work on in the future is a way to just grab an entire chest at a time, because that would make this go a lot faster if they had like up and down arrows, just everything I'm holding, put it in this chest. Everything in the chest, put it in my inventory, so that it would be easier to uh, move things around, especially when you're making a big move like we're doing here. That would be a very cool feature to add. And here's where I finally get tired of going around. It's like, just, I'm going to chop it all down anyway. Let's just chop it down now, make it easier to get through. And I'm poking through my son's boxes, saying, all right, what do you got here? And some of them just don't make any sense. But hey, they're kids. They're not quite as organized as I am, so that's okay. We'll let them be kids. I'm trying to remember who it was that had all those planks. Or is it dirt? Oh, it's actually dirt. Okay. Yeah, somebody just had a whole bunch of dirt in their chest. I was like, whatever, man. A whole bunch of saplings, too, if I remember right. One of them had like 64 saplings just sitting there in their inventory. It's like, come on, go plant those. You should never have saplings in your inventory. Always have them out, planted somewhere, growing. 
And something else we'll have to figure out um, when we build the dorm room surreal is where to put the chests, where to put the beds, because right now we just kind of stacked them in hodgepodge because I wanted to get it moved over and done as quickly as I could. See, I don't know whose chest this was, but it's all armor and tools, like the whole chest. <laughs> And I had enough to grab everything, but not enough to put it in a chest. Put grab everything and grab the chest. Sorry. I suppose I could have combined some of those uh, pickaxes on the craft table to repair them. That would have allowed me enough room. Oh, I can see it getting dark in the background. Quick, quick, move it, move it, move it. And we're getting pretty close to the end here. I think this is my last trip other than grabbing the chests, but again, I didn't want to bore you guys with a half hour of me moving things. <laughs> That's really all it was, so uh, I took mercy on you and decided to just do it in super ultra fast mode and uh, just record over the top, so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode and uh, see that even I, on occasion, get stuck and have to spend my time just moving things for the sake of moving them. And then I think I, yeah, chopped some of this out so it's a little bit, a little less awkward to go through there. There we go. Anyway, going back in, putting the last couple chests, emptying everything out. We'll catch you guys next time, and thanks for watching.